from new dinosaurs added to the website to never before seen footage from the movie, the true identity of the D-Rex, and of course that all important merchandise. All this in the upcoming video. So first off, let's start with the website. Not much has happened with it, but I'm not really expecting too much as of now. When the movie gets closer to release date, I'm expecting a lot of activity on the site. It's gonna go down. It's gonna be like, danger, danger, we've had problems, blah, blah. It's all gonna be a big publicity stunt, exactly like Dark Knight did. But as of right now, we have four new dinosaurs. I'm not too sure if these are the exact dinosaurs. It just says four new ones have been added. And that's Ankylosaur, it's definitely been added. Apatosaurus, we have seen that in the trailer. Uh, Ankylosaur, we haven't seen yet. Gallimimus, we've seen that again. That's in, uh, that was in Jurassic Park, of course. And Mosasaur. Mosasaur being one of those creatures to make this movie different and stand out from the rest because they've never had an aquatic reptile or anything of the sort in any of the previous movies. So I'm really looking forward to this one. Regarding the never before seen footage, not too long ago, Mercedes decided to host a conference and in that conference they showed some footage of the movie Jurassic World where they showed their cars going about and that's really it. There wasn't too much to say about it. It was just their cars going round in the movie and choice clips of it. There was however one moment that sort of stood out for me and that's when the cars were going through the jungle. Now one of them seemed like an RV van sort of thing and I'm wondering if this is when they're going looking for the kids that have been lost in the jungle. Chris Pratt being at the car in front. But who knows? Now I don't want to spoil it. If you don't want to know what the D-Rex looks like or the new quote named Indominus Rex which sounds just as well it sounds silly really. So if you don't want to see it look away now but I did post this picture in my last video saying that this was probably the most accurate representation of the D-Rex we were gonna get because there was no other picture out there like it and not too long after these come out. These are in fact kids eatery sets you know you get the little paper cups and paper plates so this is them targeting their target audience basically. Here we see the D-Rex and it looks great. I'm still gonna call it D-Rex, I don't care. <laughs> it looks like it's probably gonna be a little bit smaller than T-Rex and it can walk on two legs and four legs, which I can see it having some really good moments where it's running on its two legs and then changing to its four legs to climb up a tree, chasing something, running away. And with that active camo ability, this is gonna be a really dangerous creature. It looks absolutely disgusting with those teeth sort of jutting out from its jaws, but its head is very much a raptor's head and I can't wait to see this. Again, the T-Rex is making a little, little preview here, as well as the raptors in this set. I'm just hoping that this D-Rex isn't going to kill a T-Rex. I was disappointed in Jurassic Park 3. I remember being a kid and standing up in the cinema when they were fighting and going, come on T-Rex! And then when T-Rex got killed, I sort of, I sort of sat down in my seat again. <laughs> After realizing that I was standing up, I'd sort of lost myself at that moment. Another thing that was leaked before this, in fact, was the Kellogg's gummy fruit snacks. Now, when I was in America, now when they were leaked, people said that they'd gotten them from Winco, they'd got them from Walmart. I went to Walmart, they weren't in the selection. I went to Winco and they weren't there either. I did ask the cashier and they checked the data on their systems and they did say Jurassic World fruit gummies that were on there. They were in somewhere but they just weren't stocking them right now so I couldn't get any unfortunately and now I'm back in the UK but hey what you gonna do? But thankfully somebody did manage to get their hands on them. Probably an employee of Walmart or something. We could see a lovely nice detailed shot of the box and the packages that are gonna be holding the little fruit snacks. And we can see the, all the individual little gummies. We've got eggs, we've got T-Rex, we've got Triceratops. All lovely stuff. Lego also announced, uh, well it's been around for a while actually. They're releasing these Lego sets. That's the Raptor Escape. The Ultra Dino, which I'm guessing is going to be the Indominus Rex. T-Rex Tracker, Raptor Rampage, Pteranodon Capture, and what is surprising to me, Dilophosaurus Ambush. Now nowhere have we heard of Dilophosaurus, it is not on the trailer, it is not on the website, but I'm hoping that Dilophosaurus isn't going to be in their park for one reason, the fact that they haven't bred it. And remember that restricted zone at the top of that map. That's gonna be where the Dilophosaurs are and the other old dinosaurs that they couldn't capture or couldn't find. So when they go into that restricted zone to track down whatever the kids or whatever's there, those Dilophosaurus are gonna come into play. Maybe they're gonna be adults now that it's set after Jurassic Park. 
the, you know, those events. So maybe we're going to see bigger Dilophosauruses, or maybe they're just going to be the same size. But again, this makes sense for them to call it Dilophosaurus Ambush. So I'm really excited to see Dilophosaurus. I'm hoping I'm right about that. But we'll see. Just want to stick this in there because I got nowhere else to put it. This is a shot that was recorded in San Diego and it's the Botanical Garden. That if you know, if you've watched my other videos, I suggest go watching them because I talk a lot about the maps. But this is going to be next to the hotel. And just looking at it, it's sort of got those bird cage qualities. And of course, there's loads of plants. And this is going to make a perfect scene for loads of people to run away, attack, and eaten by said dinosaurs. There was a second trailer leak. I won't show too much of it because a lot of it was CGI that was just implemented. It was just sort of put in there. It wasn't going to be there. It was just there for, for the sake of being there so people could get an accurate representation of what it might look like when the CGI is put in. But this shot shows a pteranodon attacking a helicopter. Now, the reason why I know that this is going to be this is gonna happen, and we're gonna have pterodons attacking helicopters. I've heard rumors that there's gonna be a scene where all the people are running away after the dinosaurs are broken out, and Chris Pratt says something along the lines of 2,100 people but nowhere to go. Something like that. And then there's a shot of um, a helicopter with a machine gun just shooting down these dinosaurs, and then a pteranodon comes and attacks it. I'm pretty sure that was in the trailer that was leaked. I'm not gonna show any of it except for this image, but but this is also going to be backed up by some things later in the video I'm going to show you. This is the Lego set, and would you believe what's at the top? This shows a pteranodon going towards the helicopter. So already, yep, that's they're sort of playing on the trailer and what happens in the movie here. I have no idea what sort of set this is, but, you know, it's there. Back to toys, and these are the most recent link. I can't even say the word. Leaks. There you go. First off, we have a Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus? Now, I know he was bred on Isla Sauna, but why is he here? Like, if they even taken into account the Lost World. Spinosaurus, I don't think, was ever on the roster of dinosaurs in the original one. We have Sukumimus, so maybe they're just using this as a, a... I mean, it says not final, so maybe they're just going to chop off the fan, and we're going to have a Sukumimus. What you'll notice if we just zoom in there, we can see a JW logo, which um, it saddens me in a way, because every dinosaur toy that I had that was Jurassic Park had the little JP and a number next to it. So now we're going to be starting a whole new set of toys and possibly Jurassic World series. I don't know. Either way, I'm excited for dinosaurs. Here's the second one. We have a raptor and a dimorphodon. Now, dimorphodon has already been confirmed on the website. It, and if you didn't know and don't know what a dimorphodon is, it's just a tiny pterosaur. It was mostly a fish eater, if I remember right. Or no, sorry, that's my Ramphoringus. God damn it, get your facts straight. Anyway, it was a small flying reptile, lived the same time as dinosaurs, and this looks like quite an interesting set. He looks like he has a push button on his back. Again, it's not final, but I'm pretty sure that's gonna be quite close to the final product. Again, it could just be a prototype, so the toys that we get may not be this good, but he has a push button on his back to make his wings flap, just like the Pteranodon in the Lost World series. Flappy, flappy. Now this, is amazing this is what i love again we're seeing that sort of blue and red pattern of the box which is probably going to be all throughout their merchandise theme uh we have a dimorphodon again there it is exactly there you go that's i was just guessing but yes it is a dimorphodon uh we have a ceratosaurus ceratosaurus not confirmed at all in the website but here it is they're just doing everything to get dressed ceratosaurus was in fit dress part three for two seconds and for comic relief and the hits here it is I don't know why, but what I am truly excited about is the Dilophosaurus again. They are really, really hammering in and uh, not showing you Dilophosaurus. They really aren't. But the fact that it's in the merchandise just shows that when you watch the film, it's going to be one of those dinosaurs you remember. And I am so sure it's going to be one of those moments where they're in the restricted zone. They're sort of looking around and then you hear that sort of noise, I can't, sorry, I can't do it justice, of the Dilophosaur, and all you old school fans of the film, like me, you'll get goosebumps, you'll know exactly what that noise is, you'll know it's a Dilophosaur, and you're gonna go, ah! <laughs> oh, I, can't, I actually can't wait, because that's my theory, Dilophosaur is gonna play a big part in this, hopefully it's gonna take out the D-Rex, who knows? Again, we have the arbitrary, the big T-Rex dinosaur which is gonna be in every kid's bedroom. 
uh, we had it with Jurassic Park, we had it with The Lost World. Jurassic Park 3, uh, it didn't really do big dinosaurs, it did a big Spinosaur, which was naff, it didn't even look the right colors. These look like the big dinosaurs you're gonna get, we got the T-Rex, and we do, this says Spinosaurus, maybe that's gonna be changed to Sukumimus. We have a male T-Rex, it looks like, so we're gonna have a male and female. So far, we have just seen the brown T-Rex in all the merchandise, so maybe the brown T-Rex, the female, gets killed by the D-Rex, and then the male comes in and kills the D-Rex. Maybe, I'm just guessing. Again, for some odd reason, they have blurred out the Stegosaur? I'm just guessing it's a Stegosaur because its tail is slightly showing. I don't know why, if these are leaks, why would they even have like blurred out if they're leaked so somebody who's leaked this deliberately blurred those out no idea why but these are part of the bash bite series which means that just like in just part three they've got a scratch mark on their side where you click and they'll make a noise of pain which is a shame because the lost world toys had a little part that came off so you could pop it in pop it off the only downside to that was that it got lost most of the time so most of those kids just had gaping wounds, which is exactly what this is, but at least you had the choice. We have a Pachycephalosaurus, which is lovely. I'm loving the yellow colors. That's really nice. We're used to green ones. And an Allosaurus, like a nice Allosaurus, because we've got, I don't know if we've had any, but I can't even remember Allosaurus even being a toy. If it was, it was just an obscure one. So that's really nice. Hopefully they'll be in the movie too. This is it. This is the D-Rex or the Indominus Rex and it goes by the name Bad Boy. It goes by the name Bad Boy, it goes by the name Ultra Dino in the Lego, I'm guessing, the Lego sets. Why they are calling it that? I have no idea. And sorry, I've just realized that this image, I thought it was a Stegosaur, is actually a DNA spliced one. These two are the, these three, sorry, were the, um, the blurred out ones. So I'm guessing Mosasaur will be a toy and he will be in there. He would be in the other blurred out one. So because we all know they're doing DNA uh, sequencing and you know, all that stuff, they're messing with DNA. Maybe these two uh, Stegosaurs and uh, Triceratops mixes or Styracosaurs and Stegosaurs, I have no idea. They're gonna be in the film as maybe a failed experiment. That, or we're just gonna have a sort of chaos effect. If you remember the original Jurassic Park merchandise, you had a chaos, chaos effect version, which is just madness. It was like, like they just gave a two year old a paintbrush and then said, sell it, sell it. No, you're selling it, you wanna sell it. Uh, I've never really been a fan of these. I guess I grew up when I was a bit too old for them, if you can call it, but I'm guessing it has no paint on it. Uh, there doesn't look like there's much flexibility. It looks like you put your fist in and that's it. It doesn't look like you put your fingers or they move. So, and if they're made of plastic, which they look like, again, this could just be sort of the resin casing for uh, foam or something. But it looks like you could do some serious damage with these. And I think every parent is going to be sick of being scratched and stabbed <laughs> by these claws. Uh, also, another reason why I think that uh, we're going to have pterodons attacking helicopters, not only was it leaked in the trailer, not only was it hinted in the Lego box art, now they've just, like, officially, yeah, there you go, helicopter and pteranodon set. The helicopter, for some odd reason, I'm guessing it's not, this is all not final, but it has a huge, like, lipstick attached to the bottom. It's electric blue. No, it's, it's just a missile. And what's amazing, it, it, there's a tiny image there, which we'll, we have one here, and you can just make out in the blurriness of it that we have the gyrosphere, which is what they go around in the parks, and some sort of, it could possibly be another D-Rex, but to me, it looks like a Carnotaur. So it looks like they're taking everything, making merchandise for it. Oh, I also forgot to mention the Pteranodons were in the, uh, the paper cup and paper plate set. So we've we've got lots of hints towards Pteranodons, lots of hints towards Dilophosaurs. Uh, the only reason why I can think that they're actually promoting these a lot in the merchandise is that, that again, I said they're gonna have scenes which are gonna be very memorable. Mem 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 memorable! Oh god, what did I forget, Neville? And the final bit of news that I, I cannot wait to share with you. With every new film that comes out, there's always a knockoff. Uh, it happens especially in animations, you had Finding Nemo, this rubbish, you had Happy Feet, this rubbish, Madagascar, this rubbish. You always had like, a naff one to follow. And you know what's coming with Jurassic World? We have Jurassic City. This is the equivalent of Sharknado with dinosaurs. I'm not joking, this is the trailer. 
Uh, I'm not gonna play sounds, but honestly, they abused the fade to black. It happens every two seconds. They did it in Jurassic World. I don't know why trailers have to fade to black. It annoys me. Like, honestly, pick up a pen, watch a trailer, count the amount of times fade to black happens. I don't know who started the trend, but everybody loves it. Not only that, but this trailer has the Inception boars. See? It, it has it. It's just so annoying. And not only that, it has this sound effect. I don't know what that is. I imagine that it's from Prometheus or Alien. That's where I can sort of hear it happening in. Uh, but this this looks like an amazing movie. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. No, if you don't want to see a terrible movie with half-naked big boob ladies, terrible CGI, script, and acting, I'd suggest avoiding this like the plague. <laughs> Me, personally, I'm gonna watch it. It's one of those rare movies. It's gonna be so bad, it's actually gonna be good. Or it's gonna be bad but I don't really care anymore. That's it for this video. I hope I've sort of brought some things to light that maybe you didn't know about. Uh, I hope I haven't spoiled anything for you. Uh, and again, if you don't want things spoiled, don't watch this video. That's all I gotta say. If you've liked this video, leave a like. And, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.